This is the top 10 Photoshop shortcuts that I think are underrated. So let's begin. Number 10. Starting off this list, we have Insert Clip Masking. Now, many of us know this by holding Alt or Option key and then left clicking when the icon pops up in between. This will clip it onto the layer below, but there's an even easier way to do this. So all you have to do is hold Control, Alt and G, and this will clip it on to the one below. Number nine. Next up, we have a zoom shortcut, which many of us don't even know it exists. And that is if you hold H and then left click, this will quickly zoom back out and fit everything back to screen. So for example, if we wanted to zoom into this building right here, and if we let go of both of them, it will zoom back in. Number eight. Speaking of zoom shortcuts in Photoshop, let's say we wanted to zoom into this bit right here of this image and we wanted to remove this person right here. We would simply get ourselves the lasso tool and go all the way around this image, shift and F5 to get ourselves the content aware. Now let's say we wanted to see what this looks like, press Ctrl or Command and zero and this will fit it back to screen, allowing you to see everything on this image. Number seven. This next shortcut is more of a recent feature which was added in Photoshop 2020. Let's say we wanted to zoom into the number one up here. All we have to do is hold Alt or Option key and then left click on the thumbnail and this will zoom in and fit it to scale. So for example, if you wanted to, you can zoom into them like this and quickly swap between them. And you can also do it to the main image as well and that will fit it to the screen. Number six. Landing in at number six, we have preview layer only. So let's say for example, you had a big project with a bunch of layers and you only wanted to preview a specific one, you would hold Alt or Option key and then left click on the eye and this will only preview that specific layer. And of course you can always go back if you wanted to just by doing the same as last time. Number five. If you've got yourself two images like here and you wanted to overlap them on each other, instead of just going to the opacity right at the top here, you can save yourself a lot of time and just simply look on your keyboard, have a look at what percent you want it to be. So for example, let's say we wanted this to be 50%, all you have to do is type five or press the five key on your keyboard and this will set it to 50%. And if you wanted to, you can also type in, let's say 45, just by simply pressing the four and the five button on your keyboard. And this is honestly so great because you can just quickly set this back to 100 by pressing zero. And there you go, you now have 100% opacity. Number four. So most of us know the shortcut Control and J, which allows us to duplicate a layer. But did you know that you can also do this with a different way, which is by holding Alt or Option key and then using the up, right, left or down arrow on your keyboard at the same time. And this will allow you to create yourself duplicates of that layer. Number three. Let's say that you only wanted to preview the mask layer by itself. Well, you would once again hold Alt or Option key and then left click on here and this will only preview the mask layer itself. And you can see exactly what you've been applying with the brush tool. Hold Alt or Option key and then left click on here. Number two. Coming in at number two is the one that I am absolutely obsessed with by holding Control or Command and then pressing the backslash. This will then turn that brush into a red preview which you can actually see what it looks like. So for example, if we were going to work on this beard right here, we would get ourselves a nice selection. And then once you're happy with your results, you can then once again control and backspace and you can see the results that you've just applied. Number one. Coming in at number one is of course going to be the invert selection. So for example, let's say that you're working on an image where you needed to go outside 
of the selection, but you didn't want to deselect the current selection that you have. So what you would do is you would press Control, Shift and I. Now at the moment you won't see much of a difference, nothing has really happened until you actually zoom out and you can see the border right here. Whether it's a new layer and you're going to paint onto here will only be on the outside of the selection or you can just completely delete the background and remove it from here. And there we have it, the top 10 Photoshop shortcuts that are underrated and I think are really useful for efficient workflows in Photoshop.